All right, what we're going to talk about is how to manage a chemical burn to someone's eye. Now, the, the most important thing about any type of chemical burn is what they were burned with. Acid burns tend to coagulate as they burn through tissue, and they tend to self-limit, so they don't go as deep. Alkali burns, on the other hand, things like lye, tend to dissolve tissue as they go deeper, and as a result, they can go very, very deep and produce very bad injuries. In terms of the eye, either one can produce a problem, so the idea is to flush it out as quickly as possible. When the patient arrives with a potential chemical burn to the eye, the first thing is to get things set up as quickly as possible to get the eye irrigated. Part of that is the irrigation solution. So what you would need to do is spike at least a liter bag of Ringer's lactate and then run it through. But while that's being done, it's very important to see if you can get the baseline pH on the patient's conjunctiva. Again, nothing delays getting the fluid into the patient's eye, but it does take a minute or so to get the, the bag spiked and the fluid run through. During that time, it's worthwhile to try and grab the pH. If you look in the top of the eye cart that we have here, in the top drawer, there's two things you're going to need. This is with pH paper. It says garden variety pH paper. And what you do is you take a little strip of it off. And we are going to use Matt, our smiling tech from our previous videos, who always seems to volunteer for these procedures. Take the eye, pull down the conjunctival sac, and just drop the pH paper in there for just a second. When you pull it out, you'll see it's been wetted. And then all you do is match the color to this little chart here, and Matt, Matt's pH is 7, because we really don't have anything in his eye. Again, you're never delaying getting the irrigation done, but it, in the time it takes to run your fluid through, you can grab a quick pH on them. The next thing you want to do is get your Morgan lens. This is what the Morgan lens looks like. it up to your IV fluid, run some fluid into it so it is filled. Okay, you can stop. All right. And the way this goes in is fairly straightforward. You take Matt's eye, or anyone's eye, lift the upper lid up, look down Matt, get Matt to look down, slip it in the upper part, and then pull the, the bottom part down and then the, it sits right in there, okay? And Matt's being very helpful. You can start it running and we'll tilt Matt over this way. If you give me a paper a towel, it will leak out of his eye, okay? And you can see the water coming out of the eye as it's flowing in there. As you're running it in, you just run the, the, um, the fluid in wide and then to make them comfortable, this is the best way to tape it is so it goes straight up and then over onto their forehead. And then you just put a piece of tape up here and that will allow the fluid to run in at the same time as they're relatively comfortable in doing that. Now Matt's being extremely helpful. Obviously you'd be wearing gloves if you were doing any other person, but in Matt's case, we know that he's uh, safe. We keep an eye on him. We lock him up at night. <laughs> okay, then you shut it off. If the eye is particularly painful, it's sometimes helpful to put in some tetracaine, and these are what the tetracaine drops look like. Uh, you would just open this up, put a couple drops in before you put the lens in. If you slip the lens in quickly and the patient it begins to complain about um, pain, what you can do is take the lens off here and actually put drops of tetracaine in here and then put this back on and let it flow again, and that will help the patient. Once the irrigation is done, you need to take the lens out, and the way you do that is the exact opposite of the way it went in. Pull the lower lid down, and it'll pop out the top. All right? And most people will be able to tolerate this without any tetracaine in there. You saw Matt, Matt's a real trooper, and he did tolerate it. But the key is you want to have it moist going in. Afterwards, you want to repeat your pH. If it's, again, if it's an alkali burn, you're going to have to use a lot of fluid. One more time, Matt. Look down. Look up. Okay. And so you would see Matt's pH is still normal, uh, but he started out normal. In an alkali burn, you would have to check this frequently, and you just keep using it. And you may need up to 10 liters to get the eye washed out enough for that. Again, Matt is our... Uh, 
smiling tech who volunteers for all these things. Next next video, he gets a speaking part. All right. Done. Thank you.